If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, let B and C be bases for R2. Find the change of coordinate matrix from B to C and the change of coordinate matrix from C to B. Here, B1 is the vector negative 6, negative 1. B2 is the vector 2, 0. C1 is the vector 2, negative 1. And C2 is the vector 6, negative 2. So to get the change of coordinates matrix from the basis B to the basis C, what we'll do is we'll start with this augmented matrix and we'll row reduce it until we have the identity in the first two columns and what's left over is the change of basis matrix from B to C in the right two columns. So we could write out what C1, C2, B1, and B2 are. And now we're just going to row reduce until we get the identity as our left two columns. So we could scale the first row by a factor of one half, and then add the first row to the second row. I know we've done this a million times, but it is good to go through all the steps every once in a while. And now we could use the one in the second row to eliminate the three, and we have the identity as our left two columns. So our right two columns is the change of coordinates matrix from B to C. So it's nine, negative four, negative two, one. And now to get the change of basis from C to B, all we need to do is take is find the inverse of this two by two matrix. So again, as we saw a few weeks ago, that's one over, over the determinant. Um, times this matrix, which we get 1, 4, 2, 9. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.